Hello, living in Bolt. Hello, Boulder Vlog. For uh, April 11, 2019, Thursday, it's 11.30 p.m. I'm super late getting off started. I've been working. Um, I worked all day yesterday, and then I was up all night. I had, like, a, like a quick nap at, like, 11 for, like, an hour or something that night. So, I don't know. I've been up forever. Um, I'm still working. I tried to do TurboTax, and I think I did it, but then I screwed one thing up. So I had to redo it, and then I couldn't figure it out, and I got stressed out. So I'll try it again tomorrow. They said they'd call me back tomorrow or something, so if they don't call me tomorrow, then I'll on Monday, the very last day, I'll go into H&R Block and blow 300 bucks and just have them do it. But, uh, yeah, I feel kind of dizzy. I, I bought some. Um, I've been getting energy drinks, so today I figured I'd save money and get a big thing of Mountain Dew. I'm going to go get some of that, get munchy food. I'm kind of high right now from edibles. I think I'll quit, though, weed after this time. I just forgot, you know. I just spaced it and got it, and then I was like, oh, shit, I was supposed to quit. So, anyway, my mom reminded me. Anyway, I should quit for her. So, I was, yeah, I'm still working only on this book, Diogenes. But, you know, if it's any book that you'd want to memorize, is basically what I'm doing. I'm going through the entire thing and basically turning, it's like 650 pages, every single saying into images and then fill up the side as much as I can with the images um, to make it look lined with golden sayings um, but uh, in the process of that I'm memorizing it so and if it's any book to memorize it's this it's the rundown of it's written by Nogenes who was in the Roman Empire I think the 200 ADs but he was writing a story of all the different you know um, philosophers from the past you know, stretching all the way to 500 BC, so 700 years ago, so there was already a long history, but um, there's like 82 different um, of philosophers that I was, I was learning a lot, and yesterday I was doing um, Pythagoras, and um, yeah, he, he was a full-on vegetarian, remembered five of his past lives. I'm going to do a rundown of this book when I'm done with it, do a screen capture just reading the golden sayings and my ideas of it. But, um, yeah, they, they were correct with physics, knowing that every that the world was round and the stars revolved around us. And the only thing they got wrong was they thought everything revolved around, around the earth. Um, so, um, um, yeah, um, and they all, yeah, they all have the same story. And Pythagoras is the leader of the um, the religion of Italy. So, you know, if I want to know uh, Roman history, i got to know Pythagorean. The second king of Rome, uh, Numa Pompilus, was a Pythagorean. Um, that was actually before Pythagoras, so I guess it was in the same vein. So, <laughs> um, yeah, they were very chaste, w dressed in white robes, were vegetarians. Oh, they had only like one white right robe. Some people said they'd stunk. So they were like, they were like hippies. <laughs> um, and, uh, but then they got, uh, they got run out of town, I guess, because from people who were jealous that they, uh, weren't sh sharing his knowledge, he had secret knowledge that he got in Italy, in, uh, Egypt. And, uh, you know, people had, had a, um, Plato actually got his knowledge from him, like stole it from him and then wrote about it when it was supposed to. So, yeah, interesting history. Anyways, I'm uh, going to go get some more um, uh, Mountain Dew now and then work on this. And I'm, I'm past Pythagoras, and now I'm in chat book nine, which is random guys. And then after that, it's Epictetus. So I'm getting on the end. So yeah, hopefully I'll finish tomorrow. It's been going on forever, but... It's a great way to memorize the book. Um, okay. <laughs> I wanted to start with a book where you could co collect all of the sayings and fill it all the way down so that I'm, you know, primed for the other ones. Um, I want to do this with all the books, but not get carried away like this. Just get started real well, and then I'll be more motivated to kind of get the really good sayings from all the other books. So. 
But, the, but yeah, after this, I'll get going back to the Google Earth and hopefully finish that. That That's a project that's super dragging out. And then, yeah, hopefully make some, do some work on the actual Google Earth page of the Adventures Around Boulder and then get back to Rome because I was doing so <sighs> good work on Google Earthing Rome. I was doing the history of it and then I started doing aqueducts. So I want to finish that stuff, so... You know, my, my worry is not so much burning out, but my worry is that I'm going to take so damn long somebody else is going to do it, you know? So it's like a race. Like like we had the space race in the 60s and the arms race in the 80s. There's a freaking uh, in, uh, intellectual development race going on right now. So, um, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll arrive first at, at the line and see some of the things I'm building. <laughs> All right, peace out. Talk to you tomorrow.